to who we are. I want to bring in the man who can provide some perspective to all of this, the moderator of Meet the Press, Chuck Todd. Chuck, good morning. Uh, good morning, Jose. Does the president, you think, feel he's fulfilled his promise to be transparent about this issue? Oh, I think he feels as if they've been uh, fairly transparent on this. I don't think a lot uh, of, of folks who've been passionate about this issue for years feel as if this is a, a, a solution, feel as if this is the end of the story. I think they almost see this as the very, very beginning. I think there are going to be plenty of people who wonder, um, given all of the details in this report, well, then why isn't there prosecutions? Why, why, you know, which, of course, we already know the Justice Department has decided not to pursue those things. Uh, I think obviously the criticism uh, coming from other quarters has to do with the, the fact that this investigation feels incomplete. What it really is is a, co uh, a, a, distillation, a distillation of CIA memos. Uh, that the CIA was keeping track, uh, and this is the, the Senate Democrats uh, distilling all of that, putting it in report form. What it lacks, of course, is interviews um, with key members of the Bush administration, key uh, members of the CIA, folks that were actually participating, folks that actually wrote some of these uh, troubling emails, including the many folks who said, you know what, this feels like we've gone too far. Uh, are, is this really legal? All the people that were raising re uh, red flags back in 2003 should there have been actual interviews with those folks and should this be the end of the story and I think of course I think a lot of people read this report and think boy this just scratches the surface if we really want to know what happens we probably need to be interviewing everybody who was on the ground yeah and I mean I think it's significant that they interviewed zero right. of the people that were on the ground including Jose Rodriguez the creator of the right. waterboarding that I spoke with some time ago uh, Chuck the CIA, the, the, the former CIA leaders have mm -hmm. really been pushing back on this report. They have, the current and former. I mean, there's sort of a, a rallying around Langley, um, which in some ways is not surprising. Um, they feel as if they've been under siege. They're very concerned that CIA officers overseas could be targeted. Um, so uh, th there, is, there is a very real uh, threat that they believe that the agency is under um, when it comes overseas. So I think that that accounts for some of this rallying around the troops. And, th and they're concerned about morale uh, with, uh, uh, with intelligence folks. But look, this is, I think this has exposed some... Uh, look, I think it's exposed some major gaps. I mean, the Senate Democrats yesterday feel as if, hey, uh, they're finally holding the CIA accountable. But I have to say, you could make an argument, but for 13 of 14 years, the Senate Intelligence Committee, whether led by Republicans or Democrats, were a little more than a rubber stamp on what the CIA wanted to do.